My name is Rosemary Siemens, and thank you so much for watching this week's Sunday Hymn Serenade. I hope you enjoyed this touching hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy. It was so much fun to shoot this video in North Vancouver in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. Did anyone see the bald eagle? It was even flapping its wings at the very end. Check it out. The last time I performed this hymn, was in another spectacular location. And I have a very kind of funny and interesting story to go along with this song. I was playing some concerts in Rome at the biggest sacred music festival in the world at the Vatican. One of those concerts was at the home of Rome's ambassador to the world. We were playing for all the donors of this big music festival. 
My parents were along with me and just we were having such a great time and we were on the way to this concert and we had some extra time and it was close to the end of our trip and my dad hadn't seen the Colosseum yet. And so he says, could we stop by the Colosseum? And I said, sure, why not? So there were huge long lines at the Colosseum and I found a tour guide and he came up to us and he said, would you guys like a tour? And I said, sure. And so I love to take my violin wherever I go and play in spectacular locations around the world. And so I kind of thought to myself, how cool would it be to play in the Colosseum? So I just asked our tour guide, I said, do you think it would be possible for me to go and play a song in the Colosseum? And he said, let me go ask someone and I'll, I'll come back to you. So he went and asked and he said, he says, you're not really supposed to do that, but he says, just come with me on the tour. And at the end of the tour, just we'll find a place that's not too busy and it will be totally fine. I said, okay, sounds good. So we went on our tour and at the end of the tour, he said, I think it's a good time now. And I said, great. So I said, Dad, could you film me playing something in the Coliseum? And we found the perfect location. And uh, so I played one song, I played another, but it didn't feel quite right. And then I thought, what should I play in this most iconic venue? And I thought, holy, holy, holy. So there I am playing this most amazing hymn in this most iconic structure. And I'm on my very last note. And what do I see when I open my eyes? Two policemen coming at me. You're definitely not allowed to play in the Coliseum. And I was freaking out and I was like, Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, uh, what do we do? And so the police are yelling at me in their broken English and I'm like, oh my goodness. So I hand over my phone and they start looking through it and they start deleting things and they say, come with us, come with us. So we go to the kind of police office and we see another guy and then we see another person and they finally said, go through your phone, delete everything in there. I had to go to recently deleted and delete everything in there. And then they proceeded to take my mom, my dad, and I out of the Coliseum. And yes, we got kicked out of the Coliseum for playing a hymn. I never thought that day would come. But on the way to that police station, I texted my last video to my boyfriend at the time, now my husband, Eli Bennett. And so we do have that video and you can see it. I'll have the link below. And um, I am so thankful that I captured that video because I mean to think of all the hundreds of thousands of people that lost their lives in that place. And to bring this hymn, this inspired hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy into that place where so much tragedy took place. The amazing thing, when I looked back at that footage, I didn't notice this at the time, but there was a man standing next to me. And the entire time, he's wearing sunglasses, the entire time he's just wiping tears from his face. So, if I know that I touched that one person, that was so worth it. So as you can tell, this hymn holds a very special place in my heart. And I hope this video that I've shared with you now holds a special place in your heart as well. I wanted to do a little praise report for you all. A few months ago, I put up a song called Close to Thee, and I dedicated it to Chuck and Diane. Diane had pancreatic cancer, and I just encouraged people on this channel to pray for her. And guess what I heard this week? Diane had decided five weeks ago to have no more treatments. She was just so tired. And she got the news this week, her cancer is gone. She is in remission. So thank you to each and every one of you for praying for her. I cannot thank you enough. This is such an incredible miracle. 
Chuck and Diane have been so supportive to me. He actually bought each person that brought them food during the course of their treatments and such. He bought them all CDs to give them and he's become a Patreon supporter, so thank you so much, Chuck. And guess what we did this week? We got our first Patreon CD done. This is a CD of many of these Sunday hymn serenades. That's one of the perks for being a Patreon member. And so we're excited to ship these out to you hopefully in the next week. So thank you, Chuck and Diane. We are so encouraged by your story and all thanks goes to God. But thank you each and every one of you for praying for Diane. If this hymn blessed you, I would just encourage you to share it with a friend in hopes that it blesses them as well. You have all blessed us so very much. We could not do this without you and we thank you so very much. Join us every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern where we post a new hymn video every single week. It is so much fun seeing familiar faces and seeing new faces as well each and every week. One of the people there said, this is like the Bring Back the Hymns family. And I love that so much because really it is like one big, beautiful, happy family. One of our family members, Jim, was diagnosed with COVID-19. And so I just ask that you say a prayer for Jim that he is completely healed. I want this to be a place that you can come and you can ask for prayer you can share what's going on. And I just want it to feel like a place of comfort and care and a place that you are nourished in your walk with God. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for helping me bring back the hymns.